is a reason you shouldn't be allowed to decide to abort a fetus wait until they are Egyptian. If your children are on a boat and the world is flooding, they get to stay alive. Every other child, not so much. If they live in Gomorrah, you can kill a child. You know, while this is definitely a serious issue, I think that it's rather effective to do things like troll the far right because well not only is that how they go about their lives and how they go about you know just uh, digesting their political information through memes and through trolling the left but also because the reality is is that you know the republican party and the right wing can't effectively argue what the supreme court is doing the establishment clause gives us the right to be here and not have a religion be established by the state Looking like a poor man Jerry Seinfeld and working for the church. Women making decisions scares us. They can't effectively argue what their agenda is. And as they continue to crack further and further down uh, in authoritarianism, we have to make a joke out of these people as much as possible. You, you know, for one, it's hilarious. And for two, disarm them. Disarm them of their seriousness, disarm them of their ability to appear as though they're above anyone and appear as though they're somehow intelligent and appear as though they somehow make sense. No, no, no. Disarm all of that. And one of the best ways to disarm people like this is by laughing at them. There's lots of times in the Bible that says women making decisions are like, oh, not so good. Maybe read that instead of your constitution. So one of the biggest, you know, issues with using the Bible, and let's just focus on the Christian religion because, you know, we live in a, a country where the Christian theocracy is on the rise, basically. But one of the biggest issues with using the Bible as a way to mark your policy positions, first and foremost, is that it's mysticism. But outside of that, it's a collection of many books. And there were other books that were left out. So it's not like it's just this one solid encyclopedia of how to go about pleasing your God. No, it's a collection of many books written by many different people across different time periods, from different kingdoms, from different countries. On top of the fact that these people who supposedly live their lives by their religious texts don't even know their religious texts. And if they did, they obviously wouldn't be so hellbent on taking women's abortion rights away from them, as all throughout the Old Testament and even the New Testament, God is murdering left and right in the name of his own name. Now, if there's any type of silver lining to all of this chaos and tragedy that we're experiencing is that perhaps this really is the issue that will unite all of us. One, not only to get the Republicans out of here, but more importantly, to get the Democrats out of here for us to actually fill the halls of Congress and the Senate with candidates and politicians who represent the people, who represent the public good, who represent what the people want, who can actually take us into the future. While the rest of the world, you know, greatly improves upon their infrastructure and their technology and just their overall mission, we're literally going backwards, taking rights away from women, taking rights away from the LGBTQ community, taking rights away from the black community, taking rights away from the working class in general. And so, again, like I said, perhaps finally, maybe we can all come together and really, truly move this nation forward in a way that we haven't seen since the civil rights era.